In today's episode, you will learn how to make a three-phase prototype transformer model and monitor the load on each phase using a computer application designed in Visual Basic.net, which is also known as VB.net. The load on each phase is measured using the ACS712 current sensor and the final calculated values are sent serially to the computer application using Arduino. This tutorial covers number one, soldering, number two, interfacing, number three, Arduino programming, number four, VB.NET programming, and finally, number five, testing. Let's get started. Components used in this project are number one, three single phase type transformers, number two, PVC strip connectors, number three, connection wires, number four, Arduino, number five, SES712 current sensors. As I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use the ACS712 current sensor for overload monitoring and protection, in which I explain the sensor and programming. For the best understanding, I recommend you should also watch this tutorial because in this tutorial, I'm not going to explain the basics which I have already covered. The link is given in the description. Number 6. 300 Watt Bulbs and Holders These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the three transformers fixed on the hardboard and as you can see, all the transformers has different loops. These three wires are the neutral wires and will be connected together. While these three wires are the input live wires and will also be connected together. Then we will check the voltage on all the loops and select the ones which has 220 or 230 volts, which will be then used as the red, yellow, and blue phases for the demonstration purposes. For the easy soldering, first remove thin layer of insulation. Connect the neutral wires together. So as you can see, the neutral wires are connected together. Now we will connect the input live wires together. For now, I'm leaving this for the testing. Once I'm done with the testing, then I will also use insulation tape over here. Connect the live and neutral wires with the PVC strip connector. The meter is set on 750 volts AC. Do not touch these wires when the transformers are turned on. Connect one test lead with the neutral and connect the other test lead with the output. As you can see all the three phases has 225 volts. If you are done with the testing and all the transformers are working, we will be using only these three loops as the three phases, red, yellow and blue. I will be back after soldering three wires. Our three-phase transformer prototype model is ready and can be used to power up some loads. 
Now let's start working on the current sensors and Arduino. First of all, fix all the components on the hardboard. Connect the ground pins of all the current sensors together and then connect with the Arduino's ground. Now connect the VCC pins of all the current sensors together and then connect it with the Arduino's 5 volt. Connect the output pins of all the current sensors with the Arduino's analog pins A1, A2 and A3. All the connections are done. I will connect 300 watt bulbs over here for the demonstration purposes and monitor the load on the computer screen. Now let's discuss the Arduino programming. This is the same program which I used in my previous project based on the overload monitoring and protection system. As this project is based on three-phase load monitoring system and this time I'm using three current sensors, so I defined pins for two more current sensors. Three current sensors are connected with the analog pins 1, 2 and 3. Defined three variables of the type string for storing the RMS values. Created a user defined function with the name RYB and added all the RMS values together using comma as the delimiter. And then the complete message is sent to the computer application using the serial.println function. While rest of the program remains the same. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I've used VB.net with Arduino and so many other projects. And also, I have some getting started tutorials on VB.net in which I explained how to add text boxes, labels, timers, etc. and how to do serial communication. I will provide links in the description if you want to watch these tutorials. As you can see, this application has few components, four text boxes with names text box 1, text box 2, text box 3 and text box 4. Three labels red, yellow and blue, a serial port and a timer. The timer interval is set to 3000 milliseconds which are equal to 3 seconds. To open the coding, double click on the form. We start by importing the system.io and system.io.port. This code is for the serial port. 32 is the port number on which the Arduino is installed while 9600 is the baud rate. The same baud rate should be used on the Arduino side, otherwise the communication will not work. This code is executed every 3 seconds and the purpose of this code is to split the entire message and display the values and text boxes labeled with red, yellow and blue. While data received function is used to receive the data from Arduino. I have already explained this function in my previous tutorials. Check my playlist on desktop application designing. So that's it. I have already uploaded the Arduino program. 
Now let's watch this project in action. First run the application by clicking on the play button. The transformers are powered up. I have connected the red, yellow, blue and neutral wires over here. The neutral wire is connected with all the loads. As you can see the two light bulbs are connected with the blue phase. With yellow phase no load is connected. While with the red phase only one load is connected. If I connect one bulb with blue phase, you will see an increase in the value. And if I connect another load, the load will be further increased. So this is how easily we can monitor the load on all three phases using Arduino and VB.net. In the next version, I will convert this into IoT based three phase load monitoring system. In third version, I will make use of Bluetooth. In fourth version, I will use it with GSM. In fifth version, I will use it with radio frequency for load shifting. So make sure you subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.